Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today it's about the Sonoff system. So as I promised last week, I uh, would show you the inside electronics of this device. And uh, let's start with it. So I already opened the device for you. So the video will be a little bit shorter and you can see directly what is inside of it. So first of it, this is the uh, socket. So it is also a child protection socket, which is very nice to have. Over here, you will see a relay, and on the bottom left, you can see it is rated 10 amps. I do not know this brand, and but I see that it's working at 5 volts DZ. And over here, you can see that there is a fuse integrated in in the circuit, and there are some capacitors over here. And there is even a coil over there. So what this means is that there is a switching mode power supply on the back over here. So here comes the AC part and then it goes to the rectifier which brings it to around 300-400 volts DC. And this part switches the voltage uh, and brings it to the inductor. And the inductor transforms it to a safe voltage like 5 volts DC or something. I haven't measured yet, but I guess it's around 5 volts. And what's also nice to see is that they have placed these cutouts also over here. And that's actually quite good because um, I wouldn't expect it to have these kinds of components inside this device because of the price actually. But um, making these cutouts makes the device a little bit safer because there is less chance that a creepage current from this side of the PC PCB can go to the low voltage part. So you have to think about, for example, if there is a lot of dust on the PCB, there is a higher chance if there is no cutout to bring the voltage from this side, the high voltage side, to the other low voltage side. So they have designed it really nice. I want to show you also uh, what kind of Wi-Fi chip they have used. This one is a uh, Wi-Fi chip that is very hot currently. As you can see, this is the ESP8266 and it is an AX version. version. And I find that quite interesting because the EX version is also used in devices where they are uh, having certifications for FCC and CE and other markings. So this is really a good chip to have inside the device. So over here you can see the uh, uh, it's a very well known brand AMS1117. It brings down the input voltage to 3.3 volts and this is the working voltage for uh, this wireless chip. Over here you see another chip I do not know the brand and I do not know the type number so I'm not sure what it is doing but let's see if I can focus so I can check on it later so it is a BN25F08 so maybe you can google that uh, afterwards you also see four connection uh, parts and I guess this is used for um, making adjustments to this chip, uploading, uploading new firmware or that kind of stuff. It was uh, for me actually quite funny because this week I had to work for uh, some project uh, on a uh, Wi-Fi uh, experimentation uh, board and so before I continue, remember the name, this is an ESP, uh, ESP8266 chip and this week I was working with this one. And as you see, it is also ESP8266. So in this metal can, there is the exact same chip as used in this Sonoff device. But they have not placed a metal can over it. And since the, since the casing is also made from plastic only and no conductive parts, I'm not sure if it will pass the CE or FCC regulations because um, from now on all Wi-Fi devices that I've seen are carrying this metal can over it 
and I think that is used to shield the emissions that is coming from this chip when it's switching uh, on this uh, Wi-Fi frequency. But um, I find it a really good design. It's really nice uh, to show how they have made this. And here you can see the antenna, so it's a PCB antenna. And what's actually fun to tell about it is because I've worked this week with this uh, with this little device so what my project is is to bring information from one side to another side and I was thinking why not try and use this device by the way there are a lot of options to do it but these devices are around three four five euro including shipment and then you have um, a fully working Wi-Fi chip and actually the fun thing is that you can make this device with simple software uh, as a access point or as a client access point so what I did this week is make this device an access point and this one a client and this client connects to this server and then there is a connection between those two and then I used TCP and UDP to exchange data between each other and it was really easy and they also have a well accept acceptable range just like Wi-Fi you can just move around the house and have your um, data um, received and it because the, they are using wireless Wi-Fi you can also connect using your cell phone or laptop to this device and uh, it has enough room to put a web server on it so I made a web server on it and you can go directly to the to the web interface and use it to control the outputs and inputs and read it out I'm telling you this because this is exactly the same chip that me it this means that um, it, it should be able to easily change the firmware inside of this chip and make your own custom ROM for it for example you can make your own web page in this son of device so you have a for example fixed IP and go to the IP address and then directly communicate with this device so this is uh, it for today I'm gonna put the device back and uh, I hope you had uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, if you do please give me a thumbs up on the video I really like it and uh, that keep me going to make more of these kind of videos maybe 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 it is easier if I start with this part because this part you can still put a screw to fix the PCB and that would be a little bit more smart to do first that way I can close the device as it should it's a really nice device they made I'm wondering what I could do with it by changing the firmware you know like two or three years ago I would have dreamed about having such a device as this so back then I was still experimenting with a uh, Raspberry Pi to control my lights uh, in my home using my mobile phone but these days I really love them because it's getting easier and easier to make uh, a connection to the outside world and it's getting cheaper as well and, uh, I like I really like the integration of uh, wireless projects in my home so actually if you walk around in my home almost every light and lamp and kitchen tool can be controlled by uh, Wi-Fi so this is the device I hope uh, you liked the video and please uh, give me a thumbs up or leave a message or something if you want to know something more about this. Have a nice weekend. See you. Bye bye.